today we're going to carry on looking at percentage increase and decrease. Let's look at the scenario. If I'm earning 3000 a month and my manager earns 20000 a month and then our boss wants to give us both a 12% increase, my question is, who's, are we going to get the same increase? Well, obviously, we're getting the same percentage increase because we've both been told 12%. But who's going to actually end up getting a bigger amount of money more each month? Stop a little bit and think about this and then we'll discuss it. Pause the video, think, and we'll come back. Okay, I hope you came to an answer. Let's go through it carefully and work out what increase each of us is going to get. So, the amount of my increase. Well, how much am I actually going to get? Well, I've been told 12% of 3,000 Rand. 12% of what I'm currently getting. So 12% is 12 over 100. And I want to work out what that is of 3,000. Just so that I don't end up multiplying very, very big numbers, I'm going to divide top and the bottom both by 100. And so I'm left with saying 12 times 30. Well, I know that 12 times 3 is 36, so 12 times 30 will be 360. So the amount of my increase will be a 360 Rand increase. What about my manager? Well, let's work that out. We need to work out the actual amount that the manager's salary will increase by. Well, same story. They're going to get 12%, 12 but in this case, it's going to be of 20,000 Rand. So, calculation will be 12 over 100 times 20,000. Right, again, let's just divide top and bottom by 100. And so, what I've got to do is say 12 times 200. Well, I know 12 times 2 is 24, so 12 times 200 will be 2,400, 2,400. So, whereas I am only getting 360 Rand a month more, e I'm only going to get 360 Rand more each month, my boss, I mean my manager is going to end up getting 2,400 Rand more each month. So, even though we both get a 12% increase, the actual amount of mine is smaller than the actual amount of the manager's. And that's because my salary was smaller to start with. So, the same percentage of a smaller amount is definitely going to be smaller. I can also tell you what my salary will be now, right? If I used to earn 3000 and it goes up by 360 it's now going to be 3360 and my manager was 20000 it went up by 2400 2, so it's now going to be 22400 okay okay let's look at my friend whose salary went from 4000 to 4480 so it started at 4000 and ended at 4480 and the question is is it the same increase? Well, I mean, I think it's fairly obvious, right, that the amount of the increase is different because if we work it out, we're going to say 4,480 where it ended, 4,000 where it started. So how much did it go up by? Fairly obvious. The increase was 480. But what about the percentage increase? Well, we've worked it out. We've worked out percentage increase. We looked at that a lot in the last video, right? A percentage increase, you need to take the amount of the increase and you put it over the starting amount, right? Because you're wanting to work out how much is 480 as a proportion out of 4,000. So you want to say 480 out of 4,000 and turn it into a percentage. 
Okay, let's simplify this down. We can divide by 100, divide by 100. Here we can divide 10 and 10, top and bottom. And actually we can divide top and bottom by 4. So we get 12 at the top. And so we get that it is a 12% increase. So my friend got the same percentage increase as me. But of course, they started off with 4,000 Rand, a bit more than my 3,000. And so the amount of the increase will be a bit more than mine. OK, I want you to try this one for yourself in your homework books. Price of petrol is 8.10 at the moment, and it goes up by 10%. What's going to be the price of petrol tomorrow? Pause the video and try this. All right. You should have had this. The amount of your increase. Well, the amount it's going up by is 10% of 8 Rand 10 cents. So it's going to go 10%. And let's just to avoid having to deal with decimals, let's turn 8 Rand 10 into cents, right? So let's say 8 Rand 10 we know is going to be 810 cents. And then this makes it nice and easy for me to deal with because I can divide top and bottom here by 10 and top and bottom by 10. So I get 1 over 1 times 81 over 1. So it's 1 times 81, which is 81 cents. So the amount of the increase is going to be 81 cents. So then the new price, well, you know that the price is going to go up by 81 cents. So it was 8 Rand and 10 cents. And now you're going to have to add on 81 cents. Well, 81 cents is, can be written like that if you're going to write it in rands. And then if we add this, we will get, well, there's 10 cents plus 81 cents gives me 91 cents. So it's going to be, new price will be 8 Rand 91. The amount it increased by was 81 cents. The new price, 8 Rand 91. Obviously, prices can go, we can do percentage decrease as well as increase. So imagine uh, I got a price of, um, there's a price of, um, this pair of shoes in a shop, it's 400, and it either goes on sale or the shopkeeper tells me there's a discount of 20%. That means it's going to go down by 20%. So in this case, almost the same, except instead of working out the amount of the increase, in this case, I'm going to work out the amount of the decrease. But the same process, because how much is it going down by? It's 20% of the original amount. So it's going to go down by 20% of 400. And we know how to work that out. 20% is 20 over 100. And we want to work out what that is of 400. Let's simplify so we don't have to do big multiplications. I can divide the bottom by 100 and the top by 100. And then I just have to say 20 times by 4, and it's over 1. So it's 20 times 4, which is going to be 80 Rand. All right, that's the amount of the decrease. How much will I actually pay? Well. I will pay, it was 400, it goes down by 80, so I'm going to end up paying only 320. All right, imagine my sister's in the same shop and she sees a pair of shoes she wants, but these ones are 800, um, and the shopkeeper says, okay, I'll give you 80 Rand off the price. Is he giving her the same discount? Well, yes, he is, right? I got 80 Rand off and she got 80 Rand off. So the same amount of discount. But is it the same percentage? Well, let's work that out. Her percentage discount. Well, her percentage discount, the amount that she got as a discount, 80 Rand over 
the 800 that it originally cost. And then we have to turn that into a percentage. OK, easy enough. Let's just cancel right, divide top and bottom by 100 to make it easier. And 8 goes into 80 10 times. So we get at the top 10 times 1 over 1, so it's just 10 times 1. So the answer is 10%. So in fact, my sister only got a 10% discount, whereas I got a 20% discount. All right, last one for you to try. Got a shirt that costs 144 Rand, and the shop gives you a 25% discount, and you need to work out the price of the shirt, that you, the price you'll pay now once you've got the discount. I want you to do this in your homework books, so pause the video now, try it, and we'll do it together. Okay, so we need to work out the amount of the discount. And that is 25% of 144. Now, 25% of 144 is 25 over 100 of 144. And now we've got to work out what that's equal to. And here, it actually looks quite tricky to cancel this one down. But this is where you should be very familiar with certain percentages and what they are equivalent to. Because in fact, 25 over 100 is just the same as 1 over 4, and that'll make it much easier to calculate. How did I get that 1 over 4? Well, look at this fraction here, 25 over 100. We know, as we always have been, what we divide the top of the fraction by, we can also divide the bottom of the fraction by to get an equivalent fraction. So if I divide the top of this fraction by 25, I get 1. And, I and if I divide the bottom of the fraction by 25, I'll get 4. And then I can say 4 into 100. Then I get here 1 times 144 gives me 144. And 4 times 1 is 4. So now all I need to do is divide 4 into 144, and 4 goes into 14 three times. 3 fours are 12, we've got 2 left over, and three and 4 goes into 24, <coughs> it goes there 6 times. And so the amount of the discount, oh, sorry, let's just rub that out, the amount of the discount is in fact 36 Rand. So how much will I pay? I will pay... 144, take away the 36 I was given as a discount, and I'll pay 108.